Southern California's hillsides have put on their most gorgeous garment, a brilliant robe composed of countless golden poppies. It's a rare sight in this usually brown and dusty land. Heavy winter rains brought forth the blossoms in such abundance that the superbloom, as it is known, is attracting huge crowds to gaze in awe at nature's splendor. It's amazing. It's like uh, we are in heaven. Most people are chained to a desk and they don't get the chance to see anything like this. And you can't even get this on your widescreen TVs, I don't think. You got to see it up front. Yeah, you got to see it. You, gotta, you actually have to see it with your own eyes. A few days ago, so many people flocked to Walker Canyon near the town of Lake Elsinore that Mayor Steve Manos had to temporarily close the area. We just didn't have the crowd control necessary to deal uh, with the enormity of this, which yeah. We thought 20,000 people maybe, and we got 100. And so Disneyland usually gets 44,000 on any given day. So you can figure that, you can do the numbers. Now things are under control with extra parking and more shuttle buses provided. We're asking everyone to be kind, mind the trails, don't pick the poppies, don't roll on the poppies, be kind to nature. The California poppy, or S. Scholzia californica, is the official flower of the Golden State. Much of its original habitat has been lost to development and invasive plant species. Some people make a pilgrimage to the wildflowers whenever they appear, like Akira Sato, whose late mother brought him when he was his own son Lucas's age. The poppy is the sign of uh, remembrance. So, you know, looking at poppies is, is a good way to remember your, your loved ones uh, who have passed. The poppy's heyday will be brief, a week or two at most. In the 14th century, the Persian poet Hafiz said, spring and all its flowers now joyously break their vow of silence. It is time for celebration. Soon the sun will dry the verdant hills and the poppies will return to the earth as all things mortal must. But for now, it is a time for celebration. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Lake Elsinore, California.